name is Sungjin. Um, today I want to talk about hydraulic fracturing. So what is hydraulic um, fracturing? Hydraulic fracturing is also known as fracking. It's a process of injecting liquid at the high pressure into subterranean rocks to force to open existing fissures and extract oil and gas. And I want to characterize this um, fracking as a Dracula, because Dracula is a blood and it, um, it gives infection to the human's blood. And fracking does that to the water. And it's a lot of water and it contaminates water. So in 2015 of June, um, Environmental Protection Agency uh, stated that, that there was no widespread systematic impact on water from fracking. So people thought that the fracking would be safe to drink around the area, but in December 2016, which was three months be uh, before today, um, they came out with a new research um, report that um, they spent six years and spent $29 million on that research, and now they're saying that fracking can affect drinking water under some circumstances. So what are those circumstances? There are quite a few circumstances they mentioned about in that research. Um, and I just kind of mentioned two of those. The first one is low availability, availability of water. So if you look at this map, the, the, yellow, the yellow areas are the wells of the fractured um, industry. And it doesn't look that much, but it's approximately up um, one million wells, and each of the wells requires seven million gallons of water to fracture. And 30% of that um, water trapped into the shale, and it, it got, it's gone for good. So it's wasting a lot of water. And uh, second, second one is spills. And spills is in the five stage of water cycle. And in the five stage, in the second chemical mixing, uh, second stage called chemical mixing, and there is a lot of spill coming out in that stage, and the fluids often described as acid, biocide, friction reducer, and blended hydraulic fracturing fluid. So, um, it's high concentrated chemicals that actually contaminate underground water. So. And it's majorly um, the primary caused by human human errors and the equipment failures. So EPA came out with this um, research about Colorado oil, oil and gas conservation, and um, they they found that there were 125 spills in that um, case, and 51 percent of that spills caused by um, human errors, and 46% was caused by equipment failures. So that was a huge number to um, spill the water. And so what can be done by um, to decrease and minimize those problems? So first of all, the first thing that I thought about was to stop the fracking. That could save a million and tr trillions water per day, but um, I think that's not gonna be happen for a while. So I thought about the other options. Was a, the second option was to decrease equipment failures and minimize further human error by um, training them with a professional um, teach. So, and the third one, the, flow, the third one is flow back treatment. This treatment, um, I, I researched on, on the website, and I, I found this um, company called Ecosphere Inc., and they actually made a treatment called Ozonix. So it can be treated, so I think that fracking can be continued, but I, I think this has to find a better treatment to reuse the water. Thank you for your time.